All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Las Vegas Raiders in tonight's video. A very weird video to recap, very weird game to recap. 22 to loss on the road against the Los Angeles Chargers. What really sucks about it is I don't know in any way, shape, or form why the Raiders lost that football game. You know, outside of Antonio Pierce's decision making, outside of Luke Getze, the offense coordinator's playmaking or play calling, I should say, sorry. It feels weird to blame a coordinator slash coach, but there's no way you could watch the first three quarters of this game and say the Chargers were the better team. There's just no way, shape, or form. Now, obviously, you know, Gardner Minshew and Las Vegas Raiders weren't like, you know, running up the scoreboard. The the halftime score was seven to six, but it was very clear and it was very evident that the Raiders were overall the better football team, whether that was offensively or defensively. Harbaugh or not, it just feels like last season. It really does. And just coaching-wise, play-calling-wise, we go back to that fourth-and-one punt decision. I, I go back and I look at this, and just from a fan's perspective, I'm thinking, what the heck are we doing? What the heck are we doing? Because even though we lost 22-10, to 10, the Raiders, once again, were by far the better football team. So before we get further any into tonight's video, if you guys enjoy, be sure to that like button, hit that sub button for daily Raiders and NFL content. If you try and get this video to 100 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. So just for a good indication, here's Justin Herbert's stats from this afternoon's football game. 17 to 26, 144 yards and a touchdown, zero interceptions. He averaged 5.5 yards per completion. That's beatable and it's not even close it really isn't even close and we go back once again to antonio pierce luke etsy's decision to punt on fourth and one when momentum had already shifted to the raiders side the raiders could have won that game in the fourth quarter and i'm watching this football game this afternoon and i'm thinking to myself what in god's green earth is going on right now now i don't think it's time to sound the panic alarm because you know, Gardner Minshew definitely made some mistakes. He had an interception. He had some turnovers. Like, it was not perfect. He got sacked a bunch of times, four times for 32 yards. We know the offensive line is decimated right now. But Gardner Minshew today, 25 of 33, 257 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Now, once again, I think the decision to make Gardner Minshew the starting quarterback had to do more so with this just injured decimated offensive line at this point in time decimated offensive line Gardner Minshew definitely made a couple of plays with his feet or I should say extended drives extended throws extended plays with his feet I still think Aiden O'Connell should have been the starting quarterback to start off this season but it's neither here nor there Gardner Minshew definitely put the Raiders in a position to win this football game and at the end of the day i even hate to say this because it feels like one year ago when i was making fun of josh mcdummy it feels like this loss was on the coaching staff and especially for a dude like antonio pierce it's very frustrating the running back room did absolutely nothing 22 total carries 71 yards averaging only 3.2 yards per carry zamir white got going in the second half but the first half was absolutely terrible he finished 13 carries 44 yards averaging 3.4 yards per carry and a fumble alexander madison the backup running back from the minnesota vikings was actually the bright spot in the running back room five carries for 19 yards but he made more of a mark in the receiving room four catches for 43 yards and a touchdown now once again as we know the receiving room of the las vegas raiders is absolutely loaded but what it's going to come down to is can the offensive line protect it? So we saw Jacoby Myers, three catches, 61 yards, averaging 20.3 yards per catch. We saw Devontae Adams have a quiet game, uh, but still doing enough to get the job done. Five catches, 59 yards. We saw brand new 13th round, or sorry, 13th pick in the first round. Tight end Brock Bowers. He had a nice debut. One of the bright spots of today's game, six catches, 58 yards. Obviously, Alexander Madison, like we just mentioned, four catches, 43 yards, and a touchdown. Trey Tucker and Michael Mayer, quiet games. Uh, but Trey Tucker still two catches for 22 yards. Michael Mayer, especially a quiet night, two catches for only three yards. Gardner Minshew and Zamir White both had fumbles for losses. And Gardner's especially was just so annoying. 
I'm watching this football game and I'm thinking, dude, what on God's green earth are we doing here? What is this? And I'm not saying Aiden O'Connell is going to do a better job. I'm not saying Aiden O'Connell deserves the starting job in week two over Gardner Minshew. Because I, once again, man, Gardner's Gardner. And I do think Shane Steichen, the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts, last year when Gardner Minshew technically made the Pro Bowl, he threw, what, 15 touchdowns, nine interceptions. He led the Colts to a 7-6 and six record. I know the Colts lost today with AR, but I do think by the end of the Colts' regular season, it will be pretty clear that Shane Steichen is one of the better play callers or better offensive coaching masterminds in the National Football League. Defensively, they're lights out like defensively it's a lights out football team you gave up 144 yards to justin herbert one touchdown zero interceptions that is a huge bright spot justin herbert on paper according to national football media a top 10 undisputed quarterback in the national football league 144 yards Averaged only 5.5 yards per reception. Now, where the issues came in was the 61-yard rush by J.K. Dominance. Where the issue came in was giving up 27 rushes for 176 yards and that touchdown to J.K., including 6.5 yards per carry. But once again, I do think that statistic was heavily you know, had to do with J.K.'s 61-yard rush. But still, even if we dispute or we negate or whatever, we get rid of that J.K. Dobbins 61-yard rush, he still ran for like, I'm not great at math here, nine rushes for 70 yards. So still not great. But the <laughs> obvious thing is the defense didn't lose this football game. In my opinion, Antonio Pierce and Luke Getzey, whatever the issue was today, whoever's fault it was, we should probably blame both of them. It can't be this like non-aggressive offense. Like it really can't. You have to insert your will. The Raiders defense is way too good to lose football games like this. You're giving up 22 points. And you know, obviously that 22 points was uh, kind of highlighted by that fourth quarter just falling apart. But the Raiders' defense is going to put you in a position to win football games every single week. And once again, I don't think Gardner Minshew is the sole reason for this loss. I'm actually looking at Antonio Pearson Lugetti, and the only reason I have concern for is the play call. And like obviously Justin Fields with the Chicago Bears the last two years is much different than Gardner Minshew, but I still felt like I was watching this extremely vanilla offense with completely better playmakers than the Chicago Bears had last season. So it's extremely late here in Florida. It's 1230. I'll end it here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. Obviously we're covering the Raiders for the rest of the week, but guys, give me any thoughts, any opinions on the Raiders week one game down below. Peace.